Alright, when facing Mortal Legarius, I recommend uh, being anywhere between a level 75 and 80 at least. Uh, I also recommend using a one-handed weapon because you're going to be doing a lot of visceral attacks. Uh, he's very vulnerable to attacks. Um, as your left-handed weapon, I recommend using the blunderbuss even if you don't have it leveled up very much because of its wide uh, spread of attack. You just have to be somewhat close, but you're going to be close in this fight anyway. I also recommend using the uh, tonitros as you can see here because you don't waste uh, a lot of um, quicksilver bullets trying to add damage to it. Um, and you don't need to use fire paper or bulb paper or anything. Uh, now as you can see here, you're going to want to make use of these middle towers when he shoots those skulls at you. If you're anywhere, um, any distance away, um, you're going to want to get as close to him as possible so you can quickly dodge that attack, get two attacks, and then move away. You're going to want to try to not get directly in front of him because he has a very quick arcane skull attack that will knock you backwards that you really don't have time to see coming. See right there, he knocked me back with it. Too close in front of him. Now when he starts walking slowly at you like that, like walking like a badass, that's when he's going to swing his weapon at you and you can get a visceral attack. See, he even hit me and I was still able to get a visceral attack. Now he's moved on to his second phase where he starts this uh, flying thing. When he does that, you're going to want to dodge to the right and let him go by you. Now when he's doing these swinging attacks, that's when you're going to want to try to do visceral attacks. Let's see, right here I'm too far away to do them. I heal when I'm at a distance. But he's going to come on to you uh, pretty quick, so make sure you have time to heal. He got another visceral attack, but I screwed up there. I shot him a second time accidentally. See, he's very easy to do visceral attacks on and you can do about 1500 damage with a decent weapon. Don't try to engage him in a fight um, without doing visceral attacks. He will destroy you. He's got a lot of range with that weapon. So you move to the right. You should be fine. Take time to heal when you have some distance between um, him and yourself. So you get another visceral attack even though he hit me there. Um, I also have my uh, rune set. To be beneficial for visceral attacks. Uh, I have runes that add to the visceral attack damage and I have a rune that adds health every time I successfully do one which is very beneficial in this fight. Okay uh, when he does that when he throws his sword down swords are going to be shooting out of that sword so I recommend hiding behind this tower until you have a chance to break away from the fight and go back and destroy that sword. Okay there you go see another visceral attack him down. He's very close to dead now. Dodge to the right. He'll go right past you. Sometimes you can get a hit or two in. I'm not sure why he wasn't swinging at me here. Dodge to the right. See here he was actually so close to death I just kind of went for it. And got lucky. Uh, that can backfire on you. But uh, now that he's dead, make sure to go up and pick up the Crown of Illusions, which he just dropped. Uh, you're going to need that later. And uh, then go light the lantern, and you're done.